Well, welcome back to Texas today on this Friday morning. Thank you so much for waking up with us. 641 on the clock and it's about to be a nice weekend with a little bit of rain here and there. Yes, and you know, we really do need the rain since drought is back, but you know, we're going to keep the spring like high temperatures today into early next week, so it is going to feel pretty nice. Now, Megan, I was out there yesterday. You can kind of see the pollen floating around in the yeah. air visibly, yeah. so this rain's going to be good for that, right? Yeah, definitely, and it will be a little bit breezy at times during the day today, so that could be a problem for your allergies. Hate to say it, but we will eventually have gusts right around 15 miles an hour. Clouds are building back in from the west. Some showers and storms over Midland out in West Texas this morning. That rain not going to make it into our area, and temperatures right over right outside at the moment in the 40s and 50s. Right at 42 in Waco, Temple checking in at 44, upper 50s in Clean and Marlin, and feeling like 45 degrees in Gatesville this morning as well. But today, spring-like high temperatures, very warm. We'll hit 77 in Waco, upper 70s in Clean and Temple, but it will be partly cloudy west of I-35, and we'll see lots of sunshine east of I-35. So partly cloudy to mostly sunny today. At least we'll feel pretty nice with highs in the 70s. Overnight lows plummet only into the mid and upper 50s. Clouds continue to build back in tonight, so it will be a cloudy start to our Saturday. A little gloomy as well, and we'll see some showers and storms uh, after midnight that will be possible. But we need the rain. You can see abnormally dry drought starting to move over uh, Gatesville. Land passes Burnett to Lano, stretching north into Hillsboro. So drought is back, unfortunately, and that's why it's good to see that rain in our forecast. We've lowered our rain chance to a 20% just isolated showers, mainly for western and southern counties. That's going to be after midnight tonight and early Saturday, but we pick back up on scattered pockets of heavy rain, some cloud to ground lightning strikes right around peak heating tomorrow, and most communities still dry. We're not looking at a complete washout on Saturday. I know some of you are saying, man, it's the weekend and we have rain back in the forecast, but the good news is not looking at a washout. There's our next rainmaker. It's an area of low pressure right over Utah this morning. That area of low pressure will take a northeasterly track right over Colorado, and that's why we don't have a, a washout and be severe weather in our forecast. We'll actually keep the heaviest rain out in the north Texas uh, today and also into Saturday afternoon. So let's walk you through the forecast. This is Friday at 7 a.m. We fast forward to 7 p.m. this evening. Clouds just build back in. Rain chances fizzle out out in the west Texas as they take an easterly track. I'm not ruling out some isolated showers from 3 a.m. Saturday until about lunchtime Saturday, but here's peak heating of the day. This is that 30% chance of rain in the forecast. I was talking about pockets of heavy rain over North Texas, and we'll just see most of that shower and activity start to fizzle out right around sunset on Saturday at 7 p.m. Not too bad for temperatures this weekend. Cloudy, but a high of 70 tomorrow, a little bit cooler, but warming back up Sunday, a couple degrees shy from 80 and lots of sunshine Monday. Back to you, Chris and Heidi. All right, Megan.